Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Nate here again. Hey, I just wanted to pop in here and put down a quick little video thanking some people. Um, seriously. Um, every time I get a little wave of five, six subscribers, even one or two, I get pretty excited. I, I sprint to my wife and I tell her, hey, look, you know, uh, this guy from, from so-and-so, you know, we, he's, I saw him watching Buck and Billy Ray's video and now he's following me. You know, I find that really cool because I look at guys like Buck and Billy Ray and I, and I'm like, wow, this guy's so specialized, you know? Um, and I think that he's really, really great at what he does and he has so much to say about it. Um, and he gives the community a lot of information and that's, that's outstanding. Um, so when somebody from his community or our community, when somebody from his channel comes to my channel, it's, it's just amazing. You know, it, it, it's like, I'm putting something out there, I guess, you know, so that's cool. I think I'm going to keep doing that. Um, so obviously Buck and Billy Ray, he's, he's brought this community together like you wouldn't believe. And when I say community, I don't know if folks really know what I mean, but the Buck and Billy Ray community is the Buck and Billy Ray community, right? Like people who watch Buck and Billy Ray, whether they do tree work or not, they like Buck and Billy Ray. So I think there's kind of a couple different communities within this community, um, and then there's the, the landscapers like myself, you know, the gardeners that, that also dabble in tree work. <clears throat> and then you got the hands-on guys, you know, um, Casterman, you know, um, Killinger, um, Stillborn, <clears throat> and, I, and I'm sure I'm forgetting thousands of them, but you have those guys who are in it for the, for the craftsmanship, obviously the, the entertainment as well, but I, I like tools. I like fixing tools. I like, I like messing with hand tools. I like using tools, learning about history of tools, all that type of stuff. Um, so, so I'm in it for a lot of different reasons. Um, but you got those guys who are making axes, making tools, you know, using lathes and, and, um, you know, taking, taking strips out of wood and building their own crazy stuff with it. It's inspiring to me because <clears throat> I was in the store the other day and I almost bought a nice workbench and I'm in this little state of mind now where I'm in Florida and it's very easy to buy anything because there's a specialty store for everything. Whereas where I come from up in Southern Maine in, in a little town called Buxton, there's not. We had a Burger King and you had to drive to get to the Walmart. That was it. So if you wanted something like that, you know, usually you'd make it. Um, so I was looking at this table and I was like, wow, 300 bucks for this, for this table, you know, just a thick wood top, you know, so I can mount my vice on and <clears throat> do work on my saws and, and build stuff. And I said, wow, 300 bucks. I could get the materials to build that thing for much cheaper. So needless to say, I'm finding myself more and more checking myself and remembering where I come from. So it's really humbling and really, really, really nice to see this community that's built around personal growth and being self-sufficient and self-sustainable. Because I think we need more of that in our lives. And I'm about to be a dad um, as well. Um, and I look to try my absolute best to teach my son what I know and teach him how to be hands-on and teach him how to not look for quick fixes. You know, even though I'm a very hands-on person, you know, I still take quick fixes. I still take the quick route now and again. But when it comes to my work and my craftsmanship, I never, ever, ever think about, oh, that, that's going to be a long task. Or, oh, that's that's a lot of work. Or, oh, man, that, that, that job's going to make me sore. I never think about that because I love it and I'm passionate about it. I just start doing it. I start doing it and, and, and I look at my watch. Well, I don't wear a watch, but I look at my clock and the sun's gone down and, and I'm, and I'm waist deep in this job and I'm just enjoying myself, but it also gets me in trouble a lot. Um, 
Tess, I know you're watching this. Tessa is my wife's name. Um, she could attest to this, you know, because I'm by far from a perfect man. <clears throat> but she can attest to this, me getting wrapped up, right? I'll say, oh, I'm just going out to the garage. You know, I, I got to file this this chainsaw real quick before before the job tomorrow. That turns into filing this chain. Oh, let me try a, a square ground hand file on this other chain. Oh, while I'm at it, I, I think I could probably dump out the fuel of my of all my chainsaws and uh, and kind of let them dry out. You know, the ones that I don't use, so so the fuel lines don't rot out. Oh, that's right. I, I got a new I got a new edging blade for my for my edge trimmer. Let me throw that on. Oh, now I have to test all of the cuts that all this hand filing that I've just done. I have to test all the cuts. <sighs> she pops open the door, says, hey, dinner's almost ready. And I know that usually means about five, 10 minutes. I say, okay, I'll be right in. In, my, in the back of my brain, I know that that means I need to stop like now. So some, show some respect for the woman. Go wash up and eat dinner. But I struggle. Bad. Very, very, very bad. That tells me in the front of my brain that I have five minutes to keep doing what I'm doing. And then it goes a little overboard. So what I want to do is I want to start, you know, with my boy and teach him like, hey, look, no matter what your passion is, like the people who support you in your passion come first, first, because if they're not pushing you and motivating you and cooking you dinner and, and loving you and getting you to do the right thing, you're not going to get far. So anyways, guys, uh, there's just a couple names that I wrote down. I'm not going to be tacky and pretend like I, I didn't write them down. I did. Uh, I'm going to read these names to you real quick because uh, they're recent subscribers. And I, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing all this right, but <clears throat> Bermuda Brian, he's a new subscriber. I think he came here from uh, from some of my Bermuda grass lawn stuff. Um, <clears throat> Grism Vision, that's actually my uncle. Uh, my, my, my old man wasn't around growing up. I lived with him for a year down in Georgia. Um, I got shipped away cause I was a kind of a, a troubled kid, but, uh, he, he, he was never really around. Uh, and I actually, my dad was, is a singer and he was on <clears throat> Showtime at the Apollo. Uh, you know, back when Steve Harvey used to do it, that talent singing show or whatever he was on there and he, there was a YouTube video posted of him. His name's Tony Vance. If you want to look him up, he sings Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. Um, and I was reading through the comments of my dad, you know, it was pretty, pretty weird. It's always been very surreal to me to have this video floating around of my dad that did very well. Um, but not really even know my dad besides, you know, without getting into that, um, floating around. And I saw this, this comment that said, Hey, that's my brother. And I was like, okay, what's up? And I said, well, that's my dad. And then we got in touch from there and, and he, he lives in, in Michigan and, and um, we, we have the uh, same opinion on, on how things went, but I love you. Thanks for, thanks for, you know, keeping in touch with me and, and motivating me recently. It means a lot, you know, to hear that from somebody, um, what you sent me the other day in Facebook. Um, so Grizz and Vision, uh, Joe's Neon. Uh, new subscriber. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. Um, Trey Driver. I think you came over from Buckins channel or maybe some chainsaw stuff. Thanks for being here. Keep coming back and visiting. I'll post multiple times a week. Um, Heath Chase. I grew up with you, man. Can't say enough about you. You're into video. You're into production. I'm into video. I, you know, I did my whole music thing. Him and I actually grew up. We had a little camera he used to live down the street he was he was three years younger than me but he was the only other kid on the street and across the street from our, from the houses there was nothing but um there was nothing but uh just a wide open field and i used to go up there and he had this little old vhs uh tape recorder or video recorder and we used to do jump cuts and film each other doing stupid stuff you know we pretend to be in an action movie and we'd we'd record and then we'd make a dummy and we'd stop recording and then we'd film the dummy flying out of the window and then cut it again and then film one of us getting up off the ground as if we were the dummy just a bunch of stuff way before this technology advanced to where I'm recording this on my iPhone um so he's he's a big influence to me I miss you man I love you I hope you're doing well I love your mother as well 
love your dad as well, John. Hey, Heath, send this to your to your dad, man, because I've been meaning to call him. Um, Nick Pixel TV, man, your channel is about to blow up. I can feel it. It already it already pretty much has. You're doing great things to help Bucking, you know, go through his journey. And uh, as we all know, Bucking is is supporting, loving many people, helping people out, teaching people. And that's, I think, what we all want to do. We all either are here to learn or or teach or both. So you guys in combination are, are really doing doing good things. Um, like I said, Casterman and Killinger, you guys are awesome. I love, I love your content. Um, Killinger's got that real down home, great music. He sent me the, he sent me the, uh, link to where he gets his music. Um, but I, I didn't think I was ready to make that investment yet, but I think I am now. Um, I do have another YouTube channel from back in the day. I, I used to perform, I, you know, I pretty much like made a living off performing, uh, music, I wrote music. I produced music, um, and things like that. So I, it's nice to see music production be taken serious in, in videos. Uh, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that I really appreciate you. And I hope you guys keep, keep coming back. If you have any ideas of content that you would like to see from me, um, put it in the comments. Let me know. Um, right now I'm kind of just feeling things out and trying a bunch of different things, but please stick around. I love you. Have a great day and do your best.